Most all builders would love to have a communication radio in their plane. And part of the building process is to install an antenna properly for that radio. And many of us shy away from doing that. Is the antenna we bought on eBay tuned properly? Is it for the right frequency? Have we mounted it adequately? What about the connection you make to the coaxial cable? Did we short it out? Was it done right? The last thing we want to do is to turn on our $1,000 radio into this antenna that we just installed and find out that we shorted something out or that the antenna wasn't tuned properly and we ruin a very expensive piece of equipment. Turns out there is a device, a meter, that makes this process very simple. Without ever turning on your radio, this meter can analyze your antenna and the cable, the coax cable that connects to it, and tell you whether that antenna is tuned properly, shorted out, or is functioning wonderfully. Where do you get one of these meters? Well, you can buy one. They're about two or three hundred dollars. But if you know any ham radio operators, many of them have instruments like this. It's the only reason I own one. I've been a ham for many, many years and always loved what this did because I love experimenting with antennas. Let's go take a look at how you would use one of these to find out whether your antenna system, including the coax, is functioning properly before you ever hook it up to your radio. I have disconnected the antenna cable from the radio. It's hanging down below the panel and I've also put our antenna meter down here and I have hooked the cable to our antenna meter. Now the radio is no longer a part of the system at all. The cable goes to the antenna meter and what I'm going to do now is turn the tuning knob and watch for this meter which is measuring our standing wave ratio which is very high, we want it low, so I'm going to turn the knob until I get it to its lowest spot. It seems to be about right in there. And if we look up here, the frequency it says is 125. That means that this meter has found that this antenna and cable is resonant at 125 megahertz, which is about in the middle of our communication band. So that is great. Now what's equally important is right next door here, the SWR, it says 1.3. That is wonderful. That is a very low level of standing wave ratio. Perfect would be 1.1. In a realistic world, 1.3 is absolutely wonderful. So what that means is our antenna system all the way to the cable is in perfect shape if we want a resonant frequency of 125 and that's just fine. It could be anywhere in the communication band. So the point of this is that anytime you have an antenna or cable that is an unknown, you simply hook up this meter and dial around until you find the lowest SWR and the meter will tell you what that antenna is resonant at, what frequency, and what the standing wave ratio is. So there is no more guesswork. You never hook a radio up until you first confirm that the antenna is tuned properly and of course the coax cable is also functioning properly in order to get these values. Really is a small investment especially when shared amongst many builders. Check with your EAA club, see if they have one of these. If they don't, ask them why not. This can last for years and help many, many builders ensure that the antenna systems they put in work great. And it also allows you to experiment with antennas because you can tune them and trim them and move them to different locations within the aircraft, always testing their performance prior to ever turning the radio on. So I think this is a great tool 
for enhancing the building experience and quality of our home-built aircraft. An important point to make about a meter like this is that if you already have an antenna meter, it might not be the same thing I'm talking about here. Ask yourself this one question. Does the meter require the radio to be connected in order to test the antenna system? If the answer is yes, you don't want it. You don't want to burn out the radio to find out the antenna isn't tuned properly. A unit like this does not require a radio at all to analyze the antenna. You want to know the antenna is good before you connect it to your radio.